Hello, this is Karen Donovan, and I'm here today to give you a little bit of a heads up on what takes place after you sign a contract and it's been accepted up until your closing of your new home. First of all, after you sign a contract, you will in Florida have a home inspection done. The home inspection usually is done within 14 days of the time that you get an accepted contract by the seller on your property that you're going to buy. Um, once you have the inspection done, then you usually, in a standard contract of sale, have another five days to um, point out any concerns that you have through your agent and to the seller about things that are not working in the order that they were designed to operate. This is not a time that you would negotiate that you want a new price or that you want totally new terms if there's nothing substantially wrong with the home. But even in an as-is contract, you're still going to want to um, make sure that there's nothing structurally wrong with the house and that there aren't items like major that are going to be going wrong like the roof is about ready to start leaking or it is leaking or the air conditioning system is on its last legs. But if it's just minor stuff then generally speaking then you accept your inspection and remove that contingency. In the meantime you have already within five days three to five days major application for your loan and this is done through your mortgage broker that you've chosen or that your agent has picked out for you or given you their name and once you've spoken to a couple mortgage brokers and you know which one is going to give you the rate and the terms that you want and it um, usually has something to do with how they handle uh, the type of loan that you're going to get if you're getting a conventional or an FHA so you'll have decided that already so that your loan application will be in the process. You've had your inspection done. The next thing that'll happen is once your loan application is in the process, the uh, mortgage officer will place a request in for an appraisal. And you usually hear from your realtor telling you about that the appraisal is going to be done. The, your realtor should have um, comparables available for the appraiser so that the house will appraise properly and then um, the appraiser will go in and submit that and it usually takes another week or so before you might hear back from the bank that the appraisal came in okay hopefully so far so good now the process continues and it usually is running somewhere around um, 20 days or so before you have your final approval of your loan it has to go before the underwriter committee once you've submitted all of your documents to your mortgage company they've got the appraisal done etc in the meantime the other groundwork that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shop around for things like homeowners insurance now i know you thought i was going to say furniture for your house but no first make sure you have your homeowners insurance and um, call a couple, couple of companies, relatives, friends, your realtor that has a reputable home insurance company. And those rates can vary as well. Um, in Florida, a lot of people end up getting citizens, but if, if you um, are a member of a military family, you can get special you know, USAA insurance, and that's kind of good. Or maybe somebody in your family has a preferred uh, property um, and casualty company that can provide you with quote. Uh, a lot of times they'll want to go out and measure the property and um, insurance can uh, vary a little bit as well on what the price is. So now you've got your insurance, you've got your clear to close, uh, you've got your final approval of your loan, then basically the only other thing you want to talk to your realtor about is arranging making sure that the seller has the utilities on for your final inspection and that you're going to put them in your name uh, as of the date of the closing. I always ask my owners to leave them on to the end of the day that you close in case there's something that happens that your power won't be going off overnight. So 
then within usually 24 hours of your setup time for your closing, you get to do a final walkthrough. Um, on the final walkthrough, this is not a time to renegotiate the sale. However, it is a time that you can determine if there's something that's not working that was working before. You want to make sure that all the appliances are there that um, were in the contract of sale. You want to make sure that everything's working. You can turn on water, flush toilets, turn on the stove, the oven, the microwave, all the things to make sure that it, everything is working properly. If there was some item that the seller was supposed to repair, I would highly recommend bringing your inspector back to make sure that that was done properly. Once you do your final walkthrough, you'll do a sign off and then you will have your closing. Okay, so that is my little summary of what's going to take place between the time you sign the contract and the time you go to closing. Good luck, and I'll talk to you soon.